So a big shout out to the channel sponsor, Helium Mobile. Check the description. There's a promo code that'll get you your first month for free when you sign up with Helium Mobile Phone Service. But we are looking at the Pebble watches that I've had throughout time. I still have them. They're somewhere. However, um, with all the excitement of Google releasing Pebble OS as an open source um, in order for people to get the source codes and create their, their, you know, their own versions of Pebble OS. I mean, that's pretty dang awesome. And big shout out to Google for doing that. It allows companies like Rebel, which has been the company that's been maintaining Pebble watches for you know quite some time since the shutdown, gives them a chance to kind of just build something amazing for the Pebble watches. Rebel IO has continued to further the efforts of a Pebble watch and to keep it to where people who were big fans of it that enjoyed how Pebble watches worked uh, allowed them to continue to use the Pebble watch. There are people out there, believe it or not, who don't care for the initial bells and whistles, touch displays, giant screens, and you know all that stuff that you would find in things such as the Google Pixel Watch or the Apple Watch or the Galaxy Gears, or any of those smartwatches. Which is, I guess, why I kind of gravitate towards smartwatches like the CMF Watch Pro, and even some of the very budget-friendly Bluetooth smartwatches, right? With their proprietary software, their long battery life. I mean, really, when I bought a Pebble watch back in the day, my only reasonings for buying one was just to get notifications on the fly. I wasn't needing anything that, you know, would um, play videos on it, that had cameras on it. You know, Pebble watches were just very simple, sleek, good design. And, you know, you you had the confidence in wearing it. You didn't have to worry that you were going to crack the display or, you know, you were going to damage it where it wasn't going to be able to have any functionality. I mean, they were pretty rugged for what they are, even though they don't look like they're rugged. Like even the favorite one of all, the Pebble Time with its e-ink color paper display. Yeah, I really enjoyed that watch and I really wish that the display was a little bit bigger though. Um, but, you know, it didn't bother me that it had that thick bezels on the side. I felt like that, you know, if I banged it against the wall or something, I knew that it wasn't really going to crack. Only if I dropped it face downward did I uh, know that it would. And even then I've dropped it on its face a few times to the ground and tiled floor and it survived. So the Pebble Watch pretty much has its durability, its ruggedness. Um, love the fact that from the original Pebble Watch, which had its charging, uh, I guess, port on the side, uh, the Pebble Time and the Pebble Watch 2 moved it to the back of the watch, which, you know, made sense. And you didn't have to worry about it shifting around and not charging when you think it is charging. And um, yeah, they were great all around. And they did exactly what... I needed from a smartwatch, which was give me notifications. It had other apps that you can install through the Pebble store. It had watch faces that you can install to customize it from the Pebble store. So you really could kind of make it your own, but it wasn't like overpowering on consuming your attention. So other than that, you would just get a nice jolt on the wrist to let you know that you got a notification and you had four navigation buttons to help you navigate through the operating system. Very simple. I really wish that they would build new hardware modernize the display, but keep everything pretty much the same. 